I'd never mention that there were men as dark as this. Wow, look at that nose. He's just like a pig. He's a monster! Hi! In today's episode, I'm joined by Ashley, who recently did an interview on the Black Experience Japan about what it's like to be black in the country. Uh, first off, thank you for joining me. No, thank you. R Raphael is how you say it, right? Yeah. Okay, very nice to meet you, man. Uh, I really appreciate you reaching out and uh, actually wanted to interview me on this topic. Uh, like you said, you've been doing it for about a year and you've been seeing some things uh, dealing with it as well. Um, so I'm glad you're actually doing a podcast focusing on that and getting uh, uh, the male's perspective on this on this issue. So yeah, yeah. I think that's real cool. All right. Um, so I wanted to start off with a particular quote from your interview on the Black Experience Japan. You said that um, to watch yourselves with these women. Why did you say that? Well, the main reason why I said that is because actually recently when I did the YouTube video, I'm not going to disclose any names or anything like that, a friend of a friend of mine is going through a, a lawsuit um, of, over custody of his child. Um, now, mind you, that this man has did ever, never, ever did anything to his wife, never ever did anything to his child. Um, but it came to the issue of the wife's mother not being satisfied with the fact that her daughter had a bi has had a biracial uh, child by an African American, um, and. Actually, the brother has actually, he showed me correspondence between him and his, I don't know if they're, they're still married or this or not, but I know they're definitely separated by his wife showing that she herself um, wasn't, it isn't, how can I say it? Well, she, she, she was obviously still in love with him and still wanted to be with him, but the mother's influence basically twisted and changed her. Now, as yeah, you know, like, as far as I know, some relationships in the United States, it's like, hey, it's me and you. Um, I don't care what you, I don't care what your parents think. I don't care what your parents think. You know what I mean? And usually they're out the picture. But here, is it, if that happens, it's, they basically ask you, you know, the mom or whoever, they run the tables from that point. And you're pretty much, you're pretty much done, you know. Um, and that's exactly what's going on with his brother. He actually just uh, finished up uh, court, uh, some settlement stuff yesterday. And he's, he's in there by himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, with, you know, with no interpreter, no help. And he's been, I, I got, I got all, you know, all the respect for him in the, in the world because he, you know, He's not, he's not, he, he wants to see his daughter. You know, he has every right to see his daughter. Because he didn't do nothing wrong. Hmm. Okay. Um, I watched another video on that channel. There was a Japanese woman who uh, said that some of her family members, older ones, uh, were slightly trying to push her from, um, from date, not dating uh, blacks, Mexicans, which is like almost synonymous with Hispanic in their eyes, and Indians. Um, but she ended up marrying a black guy anyways. Um, do you think that Japanese parents put pressure on their daughters to not date those particular races, especially black? Why or why not? Um, I think yes. Um, and I, like I said, I'm, I'm married to a Japanese woman now, and, is my, uh, and she's my wife. Um, and there's a reason why I married her. Because from the two women I dated before, it's just, you know, they were doing some things that I were probably going to get into later on in this interview. But as far as, I, let me get to your question. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I think because the media portrays us a particular way. And also the whole, you know, as I think you know, hafu thing that, that, they, that they use, that katakana word, hafu. It's if they conceive with the African American man, that baby's black. Uh, you know, I mean, and the society can see that. You know, even in, in 2018, I don't know if you 
heard anything about the uh, uh, Miss Japan, the half African American, the half Japanese girl that did. Uh, did she win? I forgot if she won or she was doing pretty. No, she won. And then she went on to compete in Miss Universe. Mm-hmm. But they were interviewing as so called full blooded Japanese people. I and mean, we go into that all day. Um, and they were just saying straight up, like, no, she's not Japanese. But she was born in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? She's half, Japan- she's half Japanese, half African American. But at the end of the day, her nationality is Japanese. Yeah. Because she was born on Japanese soil. Yeah. But, I mean, they interviewed several Japanese people. And these people, up, you know, they're up and down. She, you know, she's not um, Japanese. Um, so I think it's more, more or less that's one of the biggest things as well. And then it's just, like I said, the media portray, portrays us in a particular way. So they don't want you to be like that, be with that. As you said in the beginning of, of, of this interview, they tend to go for the fair skin, even Asian or Caucasian. Mm-hmm. And sometimes that deems to be more uh, acceptable. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I was, I had spoke to a Caucasian individual and the way he was describing how, his girlfriend, I don't know how long him and his girlfriend have been together, how the family kind of, from his perspective, he kind of made it seem like the family almost embraced him. He was like, oh, yeah, you know, they love me, and da 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 and this, that, and the other. I'm like, oh, hmm, that's interesting. Like, I've never, I, I've never heard, I, I rarely, I'm not saying that there's not some brothers out here, because my wife and her family, I, 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 I love her family. Um, When I went to go meet him the first time, you know, I, 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 I said this, uh, on a, another guy's YouTube, too, but we're not going to get into them. Just basically, they... It didn't feel awkward and uncomfortable. You know? Yeah. Um, It felt genuine. It was their first time, I think, really having some really deep interaction with a foreigner and me being African-American as well. So it was new territory. And I, and I think it was... I think it was more or less on the, on the side of that um, they probably didn't want to try and make their daughter too upset either, because it seems like they were trying to, you know, and I, you know, impress me in some ways. And it's just like it was one of that. Like, I'm, I'm happy that you invited me into your home, and you know, you let me stay. You know, <laughs> and you know, you like that was enough for me. Um, but I've heard, like you said, like I said, and I'm sure you, you, I've heard horror stories, <laughs> like with that issue, man. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, well, the example I'm going to give up, like the woman was Chinese, not Japanese, but it's kind of similar. There was this woman named Lu Jing about 10 years ago. She was performing in some kind of competition in China. Um, her father was black, her mother was Chinese, and she mm-hmm. went through hell uh, during that competition because she mm-hmm. looks mostly black. Um, mm-hmm. On top of which, I think her father left and she came and he went back to his home country so the Chinese went in on that they started calling uh, I guess I think her father the n-word you know black fathers leave their children all the stereotypes you don't necessarily we don't necessarily know why he left it might have been like you know his visa expired or something we don't know but they just assumed he just left and um, she was just trying to be accepted within the community or, or her country she's like I'm Chinese like I, I was born here I was raised here my skin color shouldn't matter so I, I get that and I mean I'm assuming it's the same in Japan. You mentioned Miss Universe. Um, I think I've heard of her. I think it was in 2015 that that happened. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, it's... If you're dark... From my... Pers- uh, um, the way I understand it, if you're dark-skinned, you're going to have a hard time over there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, which leads me to my next question. Um, do you think that half-black, half-Japanese children... Uh, can be accepted in the country of Japan? I think it's going to take a lot of time, uh, Raphael. Um, recently, I've actually been starting to see a lot of uh, actually multiracial, half black, half Japanese kids uh, and individuals uh, in the society recently. Um, I mean, 
my season, you know, walk, walk around and integrate and interact, um, nobody really, like, gives them any, like, kind of styles or anything like that or, or things like that. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of curious of what's probably going on inside some of the head, some of the heads of, of, of the Japanese individuals that do TV, you know, have black, have Japanese mm-hmm. uh, citizens. Um, I mean, I've, I, I think the younger society is beginning to become more accepting of this. Um, as long as, like, none of the parents, just like in America with the ca- Caucasians and African Americans, as long as none of them are, are creating that vicious cycle. You know, uh, don't don't be around them. Stay away from them. But when I when I see like a half Japanese, a half black individual with some of the Japanese friends, it, it, most of the time it seems genuine. But then sometimes I just think it's like, oh, this is my like like, like this is my novelty. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is so this is so I can be cool, so we can talk to the girls, or vice versa, so the guys can flock to us because here's. He is handsome. She's beautiful. So he or she is gonna come and you know converse with this, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try and eat off of them. Type of type of type of dynamic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but sometimes you know it kind of says, okay, you know what? I think they're really friends. I think like he he is he he is really concerned about him, and you know, and vice versa. Yeah. Um, but but majority of the time, I think the thing I think is what I just said prior yeah. to that. Um, to add to your point, uh, whenever I bring up this subject with with Asian women, not just Japanese women, but Asian women in general, there seems to be like a tap dance. You know, I'm like, would you date a black guy? And they say, well, yeah, um, but my parents aren't are, wouldn't accept it. Or like, I ask, have you dated a black guy? They say, yeah, but in their hearts, you know that they don't want to be with a black man. It's just like to put that out there to say, hey, I'm not one of those, but I'm not really interested in you. I just don't want to be labeled as that. Um, they're far more likely, I think, to say that they're not interested in Asian men. I feel like that's more socially acceptable in their eyes because um, it's become because Asians are like the model minority, so they're not seen to have the same type of discrimination as us. So when they say that, they don't think they're going to get any, as much backlash. But if they say black or Hispanic, hey, you know, that's just not for me. They're, they think that they're going to get labeled as a racist and they don't want that. So they'll give like some token gesture of dating a black guy or a Hispanic guy or blaming it on their parents, which can be true, but um, isn't really the main reason. Uh, whenever you ask them, you know, are they willing to be uh, with a black or Hispanic man, but particularly black? I don't know if you agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. That's a good point. Um, you know, it's just the wording of things. Yeah, I'm not into Japanese guys. They just won't say, they won't say what they're into. But yeah. just saying that is much more safe than saying, oh, yeah, I like Hispanic guys. Oh, yeah, I like uh, uh, Indian guys. Oh, yeah, I like African-American guys. I like black guys, you know. Um, yeah, that's a much more safer plane. Yeah. And, you know, they always like to take the, 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 the risk-averse routes. Yeah. They don't like high risk. Yeah. And they stay, you know, they they stay away from it. Yeah. Um. So, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Going back to the experiences, um, what are some of the most memorable, good or bad, interactions that black men have had with dating Japanese women that you know of? Oh man. Uh, I. I mean, I got I got a couple of my own. Um. <laughs> Uh, let me think here. I mean, I had a time with one of my, uh, ex-girlfriends that I remember we were out at a, a restaurant. It was her friend and then I think some guy that she was dealing with. And then it was me. We were a little bit on the phone with the alcohol and we sat at a restaurant. I remember exactly what was with that Bamiya. And this is just kind of show you how cold blooded they can be. Now I know there's some cold blooded women in the, in the in the United States, but usually, but I mean, like not. I mean, I never experienced nothing this cold. So I'm I'm associating with this. Um, but we saw sitting down eating, and then no, her friend 
uh, brought something up that I think should have just been basically been between me and her. Her friend is Japanese as well. And, like, she just said it like it was like nothing. And we had been together for a while at that point. Like, he just said it like it was nothing. And I'm just sitting there. I'm trying to, like, internalize it. And I'm like, yo, like, she really doesn't, like, like, and her face is just like this. And, like, I'm like, she really sees nothing wrong with this. <laughs> and I'm basically like, yo, you just going to air out our dirty laundry just, like, over Bamiya while we're drunk? Like, at 3 o'clock in the morning? Like, I don't understand what. Like, I got so mad. I think I, like, called her an inappropriate name. I stormed outside. And then, like, the other dude, like, came outside like yeah you know chill man chill da, 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 da. and I was like nah bro I was like it ain't no chill it ain't no chill in this situation you know what I mean and then I don't think even really like directly apologized for it and I was like yo I had to ask I was like yo you not gonna apologize about this shit like y'all be real quick so I was like yo apologize 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 and I'm like yo you gonna you gonna hurt me like that you saw that I was hurt like, it wasn't no fake emotion. Like, you saw it was real emotion, and you're not going to apologize? And I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> man, I was like, uh, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Like, just the, just the, like, the, 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 the non, like, just no, it, like, I, it, it was just completely heartless, man, like, and then I remember another time with, with this same one, like, I was, like, I forgot what I was, like, I was emotional about something. I was, just, like, crying my eyes out. I was bawling my eyes out. And then, like, even at that time as well, this is when I realized, like, they don't know how to handle this. So it just felt like, it's like, I think, like, she was, like, only, but it was just, like, cold. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it was just it, 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 was, it was just like, it was like you know she was trying to process the fact like oh those are tears yeah. oh these are emotions yeah I you guess know, you know you know what I mean yeah and and that's when I started to realize I was like man these I mean this is a different this is a different ball game for real yeah uh, like, like they're not confrontational so like they see that they're crying and they may not be able to understand like what that particularly means because they're not used to crying in those scenarios. Like It's a culture clash, I guess. Um, it's a culture clash. Sometimes it's not even necessary that they're, they're cold. It's just that they would handle the situation differently from the way that we would handle it. So they don't know how to handle it when we, you know, either get angry or we, um, we cry. Because they, particularly, in, I don't think in East Asia, they would handle things with yelling as much as, or, you know, having an argument as as we do um that's the stereotype at least i'm sure that there are situations in which they do but um stereotypically mm, mm, mm. that's not how they would handle it um yeah, I agree. yeah. is there anything else that that comes to your mind good or bad uh, let me think well like a good like i said with my uh, with, with, with my wife she totally changed the game on me man. like like i said there are some women out here that do understand us too and do get us and that's one of the reasons why they want to be with us you know like she knows she knows how to cater to my emotions she knows how to like sit down and listen to me when I talk about some of the things that I think is wrong with Japan and she really sits down and listen like one of the best things that happened was like when we went to go to my friend's wedding in the United States. She handled it very well. Like, I've, I've heard horror stories about that, too. Like, you know, the wife or the girlfriend's all up under them because they're scared to be in this new territory and they're acting all funny and weird. And, you know, it's just, it's, and it just, just destroys the trip. You know what I mean? Um, but, and she got back and she told me, she was like, you know what? Like, I, I get it. I, I get it now. Like, I see why I like it so hard for you. Because you saw, like, I was interacting with my friends, and, I, you know, I, you know, and just the difference in the way I moved when I was in the United States. Like, she saw it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we got back to Japan, and she was like, 
yo, like, I really, I get it. Like, and I basically, like, you know, I appreciate you, appreciate, appreciate you, you know, sticking it out out here with me, you know, with me in Japan. But she's also, like I said, we, we started to discuss this. Like, if anything ever came up, like, where we need to go to the United States, she said she's definitely, you know, ready to take on that endeavor as well. You know, you have the ones out here that say, yeah, I want to go to the United States, and then they get there. And I've heard those stories, too. They get there just uh, complain, 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 complain. I want to go back to Japan, you know. And now, you know, the husband's up in arms. Now, he, and he's, now he's angry. And now, you know, they're, they're dragged back to Japan, back into a situation they don't want to really be in. And then they're just miserable. Mm. But you found a woman that was able to understand you and was willing to support you through what you have to go through. That's, that's something. A lot of people of both genders can't say that about their spouses. So, um, you know, that's, that's something that, oh, well, you're lucky. You're not <laughs> yeah, man. Blessed. No um, doubt about it. Cause I, like I said, I've heard, man, the worst. <laughs> um, I was wondering if I should mention this story, but since we're talking what? about stories, um, all right. So do you know Steve Harvey's daytime talk show? Yes, I do. I am familiar with that. Okay. So I'll get into why I brought that up in a second. I made a short film a couple of years ago. It's on the channel. It uh, basically, very loosely based off of my life. It's a black guy. I'm half black, half Hispanic, by the way. But I chose a black guy to play the lead. Um, he's in like this sorority. There's not that many extras in it because of low budget. But um, and he's trying to pursue Asian women. And then there's this like racial barrier. It's called the barrier. One of the extras that we had in that particular film was a model and an actress like she's hot and she knows it type uh -huh. um, of girls and you know I didn't really talk to her much during the film or after it um, but recently I saw her on Steve Harvey's talk show um, oh, really? yeah in November I think or October she was uh -huh. there was a black guy um, kind of fat not the most attractive like trying to get back into the game um, uh -huh. and Steve Harvey found a woman uh, who happened to be this actress who was interested in helping her, helping him, I, I mean. And he went on this date with her. You could see that he wasn't very chivalrous. He didn't really know what he was doing. He was sweating. Um, she's looking all pretty or whatever. Um, Steve Harvey brings them back to the set, and they have a, a mock date on there. Um, and he seems to do a little bit better. Now, my point is, is that she's an actress. And uh -huh. this uh -huh. isn't a situation where it's like, oh, in my opinion, oh, she's interested in dating him. She's just here to be on NBC and further her career. So I see on the YouTube page that where the um, channel is, where the video is posted, she's posting links on her Instagram. She's putting it everywhere. You know, in my opinion, you're using what maybe you saw in the film or um, this particular man to say, hey, like I said before, I'm not one of those guys or one of those girls who's like racially discriminating. I'm open to it all, but in reality, you're just using this dude who you would never date because you're like at least a nine and this dude's kind of average to further your own career because I don't see you in any pictures with him after, <clears throat> after that particular video. I don't see you really talking about him in any way. All, you, all I see is you promoting your fucking brand. Um, and the reason why I curse it is just like, in my opinion, how can you be in that film regardless of it being big budget or not, be in that film, know what they're going through, and then, like, possibly use that as a way to further your career. So that's one of the most fucked up situations I've seen. And that happened very recently. Um, but, I mean, they're actresses, so they're going to do whatever it is to take their career to the next level. Um, so when you said that you should be wary of these women, that's what came to mind uh, when you said that. A situation like that. I don't know if you have any thoughts. Um, yeah, I totally understand what you mean. Um, I, I hate to bring, I hate to bring this up, but hey, I respect, I have, I, first of all, I respect our, uh, military and everything that they do and, and you know, how they serve for us and, 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 you know, and, and this, that, and the other. I got all the good friends that are in the military that will also, that might listen to this and also agree with me on this. And that's the fact, like, it's definitely down there in those military towns. You got, to watch, you really got to watch them women, man, because they are looking for a cat card and all those benefits, and that's it, mm. and trips around the world. Yeah. 
I don't give a fuck. You know, you and you can see him. You can sniff him and see him from a mile away. Like it's it's so easy. It's so it's so bad. It's so <laughs> it's so blatant that it's just bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Just even like it, it, it's ridiculous. So like in those military towns, man, they looking for officer or you know and, and all those benefits or you know anything anything to get on that get on that base and even get a just a piece of america to stay in japan mm-hmm. and that's another bit that's another big thing they like to indulge in things without having to leave this island you know yeah so like oh i could get the taste of america without leaving oh okay cool yeah like I just got to link up. I just got to link up with this Navy guy. I just got to link up with this Army guy. I just got to link up with whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay, bet. Yeah. Like, and then I, I get all these benefits and all this other stuff. Like, I get this card. Like, I get flown around the world for free. Like, easy. Yeah. Um, what was my next question? Oh, this was about basically overall. Um, so I talked to a Japanese matchmaker. She told me that black and Japanese couples represent 2% of her matches. Um, is it common to see black people with Japanese women, or black men with Japanese women, or just Blasian couples in general um, in the country? Is it, or is it that low? Or is it higher? I mean, I, I mean, you get around, like I said, the military towns, like, uh, you know, the Yokosuka, the Damas, the Okinawa bases around around there, you'll probably tend to see a lot more. Um, like out where I am, I say, shit, I only see me and my wife <laughs> most of the time. Mm. Um, we actually the funny the funny thing is like the, the day we got married, there was actually another African American dude and Japanese woman that got married that same day, and they were sitting in the Starbucks that we had went to right after we submitted our registration and papers. Mm-hmm. So, and that, that's, that was really, that was really rare. I was like, oh, man, I was like, hey, I was like, <laughs> go another brother in the uh, Japanese, you know, and a Japanese woman, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, like, I'm in the Yokohama area, uh, so I, I don't see it that often. And that, that 2% sounds pretty reasonable mm. you know and maybe if you get up in tokyo you'll see it more uh but in my area and the the route from I, you just give you an idea from the station i take the take from here to work i don't see it that much mm. i rarely see african american uh that much okay um mm-hmm. for other men do you for japanese or white men um, do mm-hmm. you think it's easier? If so, in what ways would it be easier for them compared to black men today? I do think it's easier. Fear. Fear. Um, I, I think what it is is that, like I said, because of the image you say, you know, a lot of us are big, uh, you know, our physiques, you know, are muscular. Um, you know, they see the, the imagery with them is the big thing. They see that and they're like, they, they feel that. Not until they, they actually speak with the individual and then you bring that wall down. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he might, you know, he might hurt me or he, he might, you know, just that and the other. It's that imagery, man. It's the fear. What the most Caucasians look like? Soft, blue eyes, you know, those, those chiseled, you know, not chiseled faces, pretty boys. That's soft. You know what I mean? What do we mostly have? We have hard looks. You know, hard, I mean, you know, we're handsome guys, but it's just our features are much more harder and much more manly and much more, you know, defined, mm. you know, and cut, you know? Uh, so I do say, definitely on, on the Caucasian side, it's definitely easy, much easier for them to approach and to, you know, uh, get down, get up with a, a Japanese woman. It's a much more easier process, I think. You know. Okay. But but then you have the ones that you 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 have the ones that you know that are in that are into brothers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
and then you kind of have those ones that are kind of riding the fence. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But that fear, the fear kind of seems like they'll look, they'll look, they'll look, but they'll never come over and they'll never come over and speak to you. And then even when you go over and speak to them, you got to approach it. You got to have to, you have to approach it a particular way to make, to make sure that you're not imp, imp, impeding the personal space or boundary, you know, you got to, re, you have to read into the body language and how to move to make sure like, oh, are you cool? You know, you all right? All right. Can we talk? You know, you got to, you got to make those texts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you just have to have different strategies, I guess. Overall. Yeah, I mean, still be yourself. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a test game, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, you don't know what these, you don't know what these, these women are thinking in their head. You know what I mean? You know, before you know it, you, t- you touch their hand or something, they think you're some pedophile or something. You know what I mean? You, you, yeah. you just don't know. Yeah. Like, you, you just don't know. Okay. Um, a couple more questions. Just I have two right here. Um, how can black men protect themselves from the Japanese women that you say they should watch out for? Mm-hmm. Um, I hate to say this, but run them through. <laughs> Question them. Question them about particular things. Um. Uh, some of the questions that I would probably ask is like, like you said, one one of the questions that my that one of my good friends, his name is Kelvin. He's a, he's a military guy, and he really um put this on me. I, one question I would ask is why why don't you want to date your men? Why don't you want to date Japanese men? Like you guys are so, you know, Japan, 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 Japan. Like what is it? Why is it that you're into me? Like I, I need to, I need to understand that. You, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. That will put them on a like stunned. They'll be like, oh, yeah. Mm, I never thought about that. Also, ask them. Um, I would get like their family background. Um, what are they into? Um, uh, are they living alone? Or are they still living with their families? That's a good one because they're living with their families and they see your fluent. They might, be, they might be trying to look for a way out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And come live up under you, uh, just be, just to not be in, you know, under under their mother and father's roof anymore. Uh, and also, I was like, yeah, just take your time, really. Examine the things you do, and maybe when you're out on a date, um, you know, are they? And I mean, are you know the things when you guys are chilling at home? You know, are they bothering you always to go out and stuff like that? I mean, and, and this is the thing, like you know, even with probably like Western women as well, but with them, like the the the, the thing is that I don't know if this is dying down now, but I still think it's around that most of the women are raised, daddy make the money, women stay at home. Like, it's still that. Mm-hmm. Woman, woman, you know, he supposed to have the money to take care of you like a child. Like, it, it's, it's the entire, like, you're not supposed to support the man in any way. Old school. So, right. Like, yeah, that, that's what's being taught. So, like, a, a, a lot of these, like, women are, like, super materialistic and super superficial, and that's all they really, that's all they really looking for. You know what I mean? Like, cause I've seen some, I've seen some of them, like, some just dudes, this is like, no way. I, you, you know, it's everybody for somebody. But it's always those couples, like, y'all not supposed to be together. <laughs> like, y'all not, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not going for, oh, he's nice, like, oh, she's nice, like, no, uh uh-uh. It's something, it's some other motive, like, pushing that. Because I think some, like, gorgeous women, I was just, I'm like, oh, come on, I'm like, come on, bro. I'm like, (laughs) yeah. And I'm like, really? Really? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you just got to, 
really, really, to, and just keep it extremely forward and both with them. Hey, this is my situation. I don't have, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have that. I got a lot of debt. They don't like that. So like, you, you like if they, you, <laughs> you say that that bitch might, she might hit the door. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't like that. They don't like that word. They don't deal with it too much out here either. So, you know, I, I got these credit card bills. I got these loans. Uh, I, I'm not the type to be, you know, going out here ripping and running with you every day and night. Da, 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 and that'll, bam. And you give it to them right there. Like, I'm like, look, like, we get into this. Don't ever say it because, you know, they're trying to have selective amnesia and be like, oh, what you didn't say? Like, no. I put it... I, I laid it all down right in the beginning. And that's exactly what I did with my wife. Like, when she when she said she wanted to, you know, go ahead and fight someone with me, I told her straight up, like, look, like, you catch me at a real bad time. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, because um, I've been there before with the, with the last two women. Like, they were, they were looking for something that I couldn't provide to me, and I think they knew that. Maybe they didn't. And more or less, at that time, I didn't know how to maneuver with things, so I didn't really just put it out there flat out. You know what I mean? Um, so, with my wife, I was like, you catch me at a super bad time. Like, I, I got this dead, I got to pay this, I'm going to pay that. And she was like, no, like, she, and I really felt that it was genuine. Like, no, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Don't, you know, don't worry about that. Work. You know, work that out the work, work it out the best you can. And, you know, if I'm around, you know, I'll try to help you out to the best of my ability. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think that's the number one thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, and I think a lot of, especially those first time retreats, they just get out here, they get caught up in you know that Asian glow, and I'm, yeah, it's a very it's a very beautiful woman out here. And, you know, they get caught up in that, and then the shit catch them up in and that you know making them think something. Um different than what it really is and then they're done right <laughs> right this woman's pregnant they're getting married he's miserable no. you getting I can't I can't see you you got cut off in that last part but when you said he's miserable oh. I didn't hear that part yeah. oh 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 like you know a lot of these guys these, these newcomers come out here get caught up in these beautiful women and then they think that's all it is and you know, majority of times these women, are very, you know, they're very kind, they're very nice, you know, and then before you know like they're dating, this woman's pregnant, they're getting married, and then the dude realizes, damn, this wasn't the right choice, because then shit just starts to yeah. straight down slope. Yeah. And then before you know it, you, they're arguing, doing all this shit, and the worst case scenario, like I'm sure you have, like these women just snatch that baby up and dip. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and that it, like, and I still to this day can't understand. Like, I mean, women stay stay doing it, well, but you at least have a system to where you can combat, you know, the fact that the wife that the woman is trying attempting to do that. You know what I mean? Just revolving back to what I said at the beginning of the podcast. Like that woman, mama, the mama just basically did all this, and. And nobody has any fits of urgency. Like, fuck that nigga. Like, <laughs> to be blunt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we, 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 we riding with our people. Yeah. That nigga, that nigga come up in, in the court in ABNC, and I'm, I'm being very optimistic for my for this brother, bro, because he's he going hard. I mean, he's been researching, he's been going through paperwork, he's been, he been doing it. And I'm, I'm praying from, I'm being, trying to be optimistic as possible. But in the Japanese justice system, bro, yeah. you know, it, it, I, I just, I, I hope, you know, I, I really do. Yeah. But we'll see, bro. But I, I never, I, I never heard it turn out good for a brother. Okay. Like, yeah, I mean, I can, I can imagine. Um, I had one more question. Can I just ask? I know it's kind of late over there, but it's hard to hear. It's hard to hear sometimes when you're talking lower now. Can you can you hear me? I can hear you now, but like when you talk softly, it's hard for me to pick it up um, on my end. I might be able to change the audio so that it can. 
I might have to put subtitles because it's hard to hear some parts. Um, no, it's cool. Can, can, is, this, is, this, is this level of voice okay? Yeah, I can hear you there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah we'll keep the light just there. Okay, good. Okay. So my last question was, um, what advice do you have for black men who are afraid to be rejected by Japanese women because of their race? Oh, man. I'm about to be completely drunk with this. Fuck them. Fuck them. Um, more or less, that's the thing that they're, that they're dealing with. Because, I mean, my, I'm sure a majority of the black men probably approach the majority of women because they look. Okay, or they gave a look, or they gave some type of signal, or they, they you know, it, it was body language or something like that. You know what I mean? And because they're in society, and the society is watching, they don't want to. They don't want to sell out on their people. When maybe really in their head, they thinking about the brother, you know, getting up, getting up in them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But they're like, oh, all my people are watching. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to see me talking to the black guy. Now, some, like I said, now some women don't give a shit. With that's how it should be. Like, you like this mother? You think he's attractive? You want to talk to him? Do it. Hey, more power to you. You know what I mean? But the ones that's on the other shit, then just like, it, 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 and I'm talking about the ones that really want to go that want to want to go that route, but are doing it because the society deems it as not okay. Mm-hmm. Now, there may be someone that just ain't interested in you, and that's cool. But I'm talking about the other ones where you're in, where it's the group of friends. It's the group of friends. And then it's just this one, you know, I've, I've had it happen several times. You know, before, I, like, you know, it's a group of friends, and just, it's one of them that you just know is down. Like, she's been looking all night. You know, she's trying to grab your attention. And you go over there. You start talking to her, and you be like, "Hey, yeah, like you know, you get to the to to the nitty gritty." Either all right, let's go, or or hey, can I get some contact for me so we can link up again? Before you know it, she, they whispering amongst their friends. It's like, oh, no, I don't want to. What? Like, what was I disrespectful? Did I do anything to harm you? Like, why? What's the problem? Well, you know, my friends, you know, like. All right, <laughs> I'm going over here. So, with the ones that that's that's on that shit, look them. Cause I I've heard I've heard stories where girls say that like, no, I don't want. And at the end of the night, they get in, they get in rammed. You you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they catch them in a scenario where they're by themselves, ain't nobody looking, and it's now it's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. That, that's my two cents with that, brother. I understand that, you know, some want to just, like, have it both ways. They want to taste the chocolate, but then they don't want to be associated with that. So they tap dance. Yeah. It's a tap dance in some yeah. cases. But it's not worth it, in my opinion. Like, if you're going to be with somebody who's going to tap dance around that, then, you know, that's just going to drive you crazy. Um, no, yeah, yeah, don't don't be with them. Just go in here, you know, beat it up and then bounce. Yeah, leave it leave it alone. Leave that alone. Don't yeah. Don't take that. You know, to mom. Don't think about even being with that. Mm-hmm. Do a, do as that goes for because some of them just get to jump off into another tangent. They some of them just look at it like as the, the treat of the week or the treat of the night. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A pledge like a pledge like oh this is this is this is my sex toy for the night. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they about that. They you know they about that and that's cool. But you just keep it funky like that. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so those are all my questions. I don't know if you had anything else to add, but if you didn't, um, I wanted to thank you so much for sharing your stories. No, man, brother, thank you for reaching out. I was very surprised that you uh, wanted to go ahead and you know uh, reach out to me and discuss this issue. Um, I think it is an issue that needs to be that it needs to be discussed and targeted. Uh, especially for some of the brothers that I know that will come out here maybe with the military or come out here to do some other things. Uh, I think they need to be aware of, you know, what the the scene is with, uh, uh, with the Japanese women out here. And like I said, disclaimer, I mean, it, like I said, it's some good ones out here. I found a good one, you know what I'm saying? But over my seven, I've been here seven years, and it took me seven years to find that. And all these situations that I'm discussing tonight, 
I ran into them, you know, myself. So um, it, it, it's a vast, I, I believe, and this is my opinion from my experience, the vast majority be on that stupid shit. <laughs> to, be, to be completely blunt and honest about it. In America, it's about the same. And I, I don't know if this was when I started recording, but I mentioned that yellow fever aspect of well, the, the perfect defense to the racism that some Asian women have when it comes to other minorities is that they say, oh, well, you like me because of my race, therefore that's the reason I don't like you. It's not because I would never be seen with a black man or a Hispanic man. It's because you like Asian women and it's a perfect dodge. So, um, you know, not to say that Asian women don't receive weird messages from guys or whatever, but to the extent um, that they get angry about it, sometimes it just looks like an excuse to not date somebody that you're not interested in. Um, Go ahead. And vice versa, just, just, to, just to piggyback off of that, the whole yellow fever, you know, the guys that are into the Asians, it's like they try to uh, work off of that, per se. They really be thinking, like, you should come over there and talk to them up and run up and down and be up in their ass. But it's like, one of, you know, a friend of mine, you know, he said it best to me one day, and I really thought about it. I was like, yo, you right. It's like, Yo, it's like ninety nine point nine percent of y'all, and there's one of me. <laughs> yeah. Like, why, why in the hell would I be so focused on you when there's like five million other of you when I step outside this door? Whose chances are better? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. If you don't like me because of because of yellow fever, then I'm just gonna find somebody else. It's like you know, I'm not. Why be focused on that particular girl who doesn't like it? It's not like you're not gonna tell me that who I can and can't date now. Like it's just I'm just not gonna date you. You know what I mean? Um, there's a yeah, bunch but, of other women. Yeah, but it's funny. They, they could they could work it better there because it they're mixed in with other minorities, other races, so they feel like they're hard to come across. So they flip that. Yeah, but I mean, here it's like, why are you doing it here? It's like, it's me, and then there's like, I'm, it's like one to a hundred. Like, yeah. Like, what? Why? Yeah. Like, I don't get it. Yeah. In that case, it's even more ridiculous. Yeah. It's. Ridiculous. Hey, I'm supposed to be chasing me. I'm supposed to be chasing you for the night. There's like fifty other you over here. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous, but at least you found somebody that. Um, isn't like that and supports you, like I said before. Um, Word up. 